Well, I got like 11 minutes to speak on this next topic. <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. I'm like mad sleepy. Uh, I kind of been, I feel like I've been waking up at like five every day. I see the sunrise every day. And um, two days in a row, I'm out here during the sunset. And um, it's a beautiful thing. You know, but I have one more thing I want to speak about before I hang it up for the night. And um, it's something enough men don't do. Um, but if they did it, it'll benefit them greatly. Like I said, I know I've gotten into the semen retention thing and all that, but it starts somewhere. And first you have to start out, I believe, by being celibate. The moment you're celibate, meaning you're refraining from any sort of physical activity from any sort of woman whatsoever, that's going to open you up to a whole new world of disconnecting yourself from soul ties. And of course, you can have soul ties without the physical intimacy, but it makes it a lot harder to, you know, have soul ties. You also give yourself time, like, especially if you've been through relationship after relationship. I haven't, but i kind of been through almost like a marriage in a sense. You know, I had basically a whole family. Like, I got custody of my three children right now. So I basically had a whole family with somebody. <laughs> you know, and um, they were like abuse, like on some, you know, Johnny Depp stuff with baby mama drama and things like that. So I needed time to heal from, you know, my situation. It's been about three years. No, it's been over three, three years. Not counting, but it has been three years and three months, you know, of my journey of celibacy. You know, with just no physical intimacy with no woman. And I was intentional from the beginning. And uh, I was talking to God. And I'm like, yo, God, I, I want to, like, honor you with this body. And this is before, like, I started to feel the condemnation from the adult films. Uh, kind of felt all right with doing, doing that stuff because of the celibacy. But because I was celibate and it moved me into a new world of conviction, you know, the, the deeper I got into it. You know, and it's even been moments where I possibly could have fornicated with a female and God like protected me. And I'm so thankful and grateful that I was protected in those moments because if I wasn't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where I'd be today. And not to say it determined something's truly big in my life, but God protects us and, and, and direct stuff away and direct people away from you for a reason to protect you, you know, and and like I said, just going on a celibate journey really helped me to heal, you know. <laughs> like once you're not dealing with no woman, especially like if you're once if you were like me in an abusive relationship or just a toxic relationship, or even when you're in a situation where you're with somebody and and you feel like you gotta sleep with somebody else or sleep with other people or just add more soul ties onto yourself, you know, just to disconnect from the soul ties, the physical soul ties. That stuff not easy. No, but um, I noticed once I become celibate, it, it, it helped me walk with God better. And because of that, you know, I felt like that even led me to get in custody of my three children, which I am blessed to have, you know, but. I guess I'm a different type of man, you know, and um, a lot of men are very lustful and they don't look for the inner things in a woman. See, now once you're a man that is celibate, you start to see inner qualities. You start to look at the heart of a woman. You get to look at the mind of a woman. You get to see like the deeper parts of a woman besides her body, you know, besides all the, you get to look her directly in her eyes without ogling her, without lusting after her without drooling over her like she's a piece of meat. Because women sense this stuff inside in, in a man when you're drooling over her like a piece of meat. And women actually have a deep appreciation for a man that can actually look at her as another human being. You know, so... And like I said, just being celibate led me to another level, I feel like, of just self-awareness within myself. It led to another level of just self-improvement, you know, where... And like I said, I'm not talking about self-improvement in, 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 in the eyes of the world and the vanity of the things of this world, but more so when I say self-improvement, you know, like anytime you put yourself in a position to dedicate yourself to God more, I believe that's some sort of improvement. Whenever you put yourself in some sort of position to 
to be led more by the Holy Spirit, that, that, that's that's self improvement. And, and you know what I'm saying? And not in the sense, like I said, of works. <laughs> you know, but faith without works is dead. And I believe I could get into the kingdom of heaven. And I believe that the celibacy journey kind of really started that off and kicked that off and, you know, led to the semen retention thing. You know, but once you celebrate, you get to know what you want more in a woman. You get to sit in the outside and look in and really, I said, okay, these are the qualities that I like. You know, you start to know what you like, you know, because once you're in lust, you're not looking at nobody's personality. You're not looking at the characteristics of a woman. You're not looking at, oh, can she raise my children? You know, you're not looking at, oh, she's submissive. You're not looking at none of that stuff when you're lusting. You know, so... I said, now I'm just in this place where I said it's not good for man to be alone. I'm alone with three children, <laughs> as I said before. But I'm, I'm grateful to be in this position, to be a man, to care for my three children. This is a blessing. And I was complaining about it before, but I can't complain about it anymore. I do believe that God is going to give me the best of the best that he has. And, and not to say, like, perfect. I'm not looking for perfect or anything. Who can really help me in this life? Who can really give me ease and comfort in this life? Who can I come to after a long day of being in this world that wants to tear me down? Who can I come home to and just be assured, you know, that I'm good. Like, and she's going to do me good all the days of my life. When I say do me good, I don't mean no physical stuff. I mean just how she treats me, how she reverences me, respects me, how she submits as I'm submitted to Christ. You know, this is how she looks at me. You know, how, how, how teachable is she? How much is she willing to learn from me? You know, and just... Um, if I were to tell you anything, men and women, <laughs> boys and girls, especially if you're boys and girls, especially if you're under 18, you know, like, be celibate. And trust and believe it's going to lead you into, like, better stuff. You know, but if I were to go a step further than celibacy... I say stop the pornography and masturbation. You know? And, um. Yeah, and that's that. You know? So. But, yeah, as I said, yo, be celibate. Trust me, it's gonna lead to healing. A healing that you need. Once you're celibate, you get to see the opposite sex more clearly. You get to see the intentions of somebody in your life more clearly. Is that you know? Yo, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Children running around. Ah, all their lives, they're all blessings. You know. Yeah, be celibate and just be an example. Especially if you already got children. You don't want to be sleeping around with mad different people while you got children. You know, you, you want your children to be able to see their parents together, but if that's not the case, you don't want to be with nobody. It's not healthy for children to see and it, and it pushes them into a whoremonger culture. You know, so ultimately, like I said, and I hope you take heed to these words, be celibate. And watch what God does. Uh -huh. But if I were to speak to men and women, like if you desire a husband and wife, start off by being celibate. If not, and, and I'm telling you the truth. I'm not lying to you. Look at the marriage statistics from people that were fornicating prior to marriage. No, you want to fully get to know somebody before you even know them physically. You want to know them mentally. You want to know them spiritually. You want to know the things about them. You want to be around them in the atmosphere around them. See how they react to stuff. See what irks them. See, see certain qualities in them. And you're not going to be able to see that if you're just sleeping with them already. They're going to want to show you their best side. You know? And, 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 and then when you sleep with them and with them and they're comfortable with you, they start to show you they worse. But since... You already slept with them. You're stuck to them because you slept with them already. Be celibate. And watch what happened. Like, you're going to start to realize, like, man, this, these dudes ain't it or these women ain't it. You're going to start to see through it because you, your interactions with people, you're going to start to see, like, oh, they just want something. But if I ain't sleeping with them, and it ain't about, no, like, choosing who you sleep with. No, it's about sleeping with nobody. Because if you're still sleeping with people, even though you're not in a relationship, if you're still sleeping with people, you're not really single. You're dealing with soul ties. You're not single. Also, if you really want a husband and wife, stop sleeping with those men. Stop sleeping with those women. Stop. 
and focus on you and and, and and like I said if focus on God more so you know and I know everybody don't believe in God but I'm speaking from the perspective of a Christian man telling you be in the presence of God read a Bible start praying to God you know and, and really get to know God really get to know Jesus really get to know his word and 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 watch what happens in your life you know look how God will honor you if you just be celibate you know and just cut the men and women alone but besides that um I hope that you could take something from this uh, may the Holy Spirit be with you and God bless <laughs>